How's it going YouTube? LTX Prisco here. So uh, today I've got uh, something really funny for you guys. This is an example of what not to do when you got game on board and you're being kind of cocky. Not something that I did, but someone something that someone did against me. All right. Now I know it, it's been a while since I posted a video. Last one that I posted uh, was the uh, review of the sleeves. Um, and since then, just things have been crazy uh, with school and work. So uh, that's a bit of an update. Plus, uh, by the time you're watching this video, it should be Saturday morning, which means my birthday is tomorrow. So expect me uh, to be really drunk. <laughs> I am an adult. I can do that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get into the uh, replay here. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, transition. So uh, this is my hand here. and This is my opponent's hand. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I guess they're playing like X Saber Synchro Combo because like this was actually like really crazy what he ended up doing. Right, and like with a hand like this, you think, okay, like whatever. Obviously, I didn't open up that well. I opened up two of the same hand trap that's a hard ones per turn, some time thief hack, and uh, and uh, some other stuff, you know, like a normal summon and, and a combo piece. So, obviously, I didn't open up that well. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, let it play. All right, so he goes for the F saber and then just sets the solemn warning. Now, I don't know what I was thinking, I didn't think about oh, it's just one x saber i don't know what they play in the back row i don't care whatever my top deck is armageddon knight so i'm gonna go ahead and normal summon that and he solemn warnings me so i literally have to pass it was really bad he monster reborns my arma right and i'm just like you know what nah fuck you i don't know what i was thinking i should have seen that he was gonna be playing needle fiber <laughs> and he just he goes off and let me tell you this is this is crazy. I never expected this out of an X-Saber deck. And then, here, well, okay. Here's where I really got confused. He goes into Saryuja. And, like... I, I guess that's a good play? But, like, isn't the Needle Fiber combo that summons out Formula Synchron a, card, a, a, a combo that allows you to draw, like, fucking seven cards or something like that? I don't know why he went into this, but okay. Right, then he goes for the Rescue Cat, Pot of Avarice, gets all his cards back in the extra deck, pretty much. Rescue Cats uh, into some more X-Saber cards, gives Mech Uka and some other shit. Like, like, this is crazy. The board that he builds is nuts. Let me tell you, this is like a Barkeon, fucking uh, another, I don't know why he went to another Link Cross and fucking another <laughs> Needle Fiber. They're both hard ones per turns. But like, okay, maybe he didn't have game on board, right? But he easily like has enough damage to, to do, you know, enough damage to hurt me here, right? He passes. Here's the other thing, right? I open up Winder, or I draw into Winder, and like another thing that's happening here is like I don't know what the fuck to do. I activate this, try to bait out in the gate, nothing happens. Normal summon that, go in the All Mirage. I take like 600 damage here. Search for Brigadine. I don't even bother setting it. Here's where he fucked up. Normal summons and goes into Saryuja again, and I'm just like, okay. Like, you had game on board. Like, hold on. Hold on. Was it here? I just... What did I do? I press swap. Previous. Previous. Okay. This... Let me see. It's 2550, 28. Um, I'll, I'll, I have a calculator here. Right? So... 2550... Plus 2,800. Plus 1,500. What is this? 1,900? Plus 1,900. I'm pretty sure that's game. 8,750 80, is what he had on board. He literally could have attacked me and won. But instead, sorry, Yuja. And I negated it. And he literally passes. Like, perfect example of what not to do 
in a duel. So now I'm like, okay, cool, like you can imper my winder. That's fine. I still have the Shade Brigadine from the last turn that I never set out. And I'm like, cool, winder is just gonna spin your shit back. I'm gonna attack, and uh, we're just gonna set and pass. Right? I'm pretty sure he scooped. Yeah. So, yeah, he scooped. Now we go to game two, right? And I even messaged him, right, in EDO, and I said, hey, you had game on board. Next time, don't overextend. Let's go ahead and load this replay. Uh, so, this is this is his hand, right? He's got a decent hand. This is my hand. Um, I think I... No, he decided to go first again. He sets one passes. Like, bruh. <laughs> I don't know if this guy just didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Like, maybe he's just like, I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just gonna do whatever the buttons tell me to do. <laughs> he sets one and passes. So I'm like, all right, but I'm a combo off. And uh, Parallel Exceed plays, you know. Um, I already had a Shade Brigadine, so I just like searched out another one, even though I set one. Went for redoer, set some, and, and like, cool. He he opens up uh, uh, evenly match, and that actually kind of hurt at one point. But I asked a, I asked the needle fiber. He goes to attack. I'm just like, yeah, nah. And and uh, he passes. Uh, I normal summon the chrono. And I just, I start going off, I spin back his Needle Fiber, I got a free draw, you know, normal shit. He evenly matched me, and I'm just like, yeah, cool, I'm gonna sit on a redoer now. And, um, he goes, this is the funny part, this is why I love redoer. This is, this is absolutely the, the main reason why I love redoer, is him, by himself with a trap attached to him, can end games. He can literally just stop your opponent's turn completely, and I'm gonna show you why. Normal, spin back. Surrender. You have nothing left. Like, you can't do anything. You wasted your normal summon and it got spun back. Like, unless you're playing a deck that can uh, continuously play through multiple disruptions, like, this shit, this MX fucking MX Saber deck, or XX Saber deck, th this wasn't doing shit to me, I'm sorry. And, like, I'm not trying to, like, say that my deck is any better. My deck's bad. My deck is really bad. But, um, I do want to, like, <laughs> I do want to, to just showcase, like, here's a perfect example of what not to do while playing a deck that you, I guess you don't know. Like, I don't understand. I wish I can go into this player's mind and, like, just see why he made the choices he did. <laughs> Like, how do you just set Jet Synchron and pass? You literally had game on board in game one, and you could have attacked me for game, and you chose to go into Saryuja. And I, I'm pretty sure I had, like, three cards in hand when he did that. Four cards, maybe? I don't remember. I know I had cards in hand, so you're not reading into hand traps. You're not thinking, let me bait shit out. Like, no, no, you have game on board. Let me just attack and win. If I, didn't, if I would have surrendered, he would have got a free win. But, you know, I saw that he obviously didn't know what he was doing for the most part. I don't know. It is what it is. I don't care. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you the deck profile I've been testing out. So, um, I've got three regulator, three winder, two chrono, one bezel. This is like kind of standard. Normally you run two bezel ship, but uh, I need to make some room in here. Uh, and as you can see, I've got some stuff in here. You'll see why. Uh, Armageddon Knight, three parallel XC. This is an absolute staple. Um, I'm running two Rocket Tracer, um, but this isn't... Uh, actually, this is something completely different. I'm supposed to be running uh, Rocket Recharger. Uh, take out one copy of this, put in one copy of Recharger, and we'll save that. So here's the reason why. Right, so if a dark monster that you control special summon from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card from your hand to the or hand or field to the graveyard and target one of those destroyed monsters and special summon one dark monster from your graveyard with a different original name than that targeted monster. So if someone like attacks into like Perpetua or like uh like they negate Mascarena and, and attack over her or whatever, 
I can just summon a redoer out. It's really good. That plus it's level four. I am playing uh, free quick launch, so um, parallel seed, rocket recharger, rocket tracer. Uh, rocket tracer can summon out recharger if it pop another card in the field, which just makes it another redoer. Uh, one silent boots and one ancient cloak. This is uh, something I'm testing out. Sometimes I open up with like one of these, and I could just like if I have parallel like seed in hand, I'll just normal this. I'm pretty sure you saw that in the combo too. Uh, normal this and then just, you know, make Amirage and go into Parallel Exceed and whatnot. Um, and I'm playing six hand traps in the main. I'm playing the three Ash and the three uh, Moonlit Chill. Uh, for the spells, I'm playing three Call by the Grave, three Quick Launch. I'm playing two Hack because uh, it's searchable, but like sometimes I want to see it, but I don't want it to clog my hand. So I play two. Um, two Flyback, uh, three Shade Brigadine, one Fog Blade, one Retrograde. One uh, Floodgate Trap Hole and one Gravedigger's Trap Hole for the Reflesia. Uh, for the extra deck, I'm playing two Redoer, two Perpetua. Uh, one Reflesia, one Tornado Dragon. One Abyss Dweller, one Dugaris for OTKs, and just digging deeper into the deck. Uh, for the Lynx, I'm playing uh, Almirage, Mascarena, Bujinki, Ahashima. This card, just, as, as much as I hate this card, it's actually really good. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, Topologic Trisbana. This can easily be cut for whatever else. Uh, Appaloosa and uh, Access Code Talker. Uh, so that's that's it for the extra deck. For the side, uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. Three Nib, Three Token, uh, Dark Ruler, Twin, Evenly, Red and Red Reboot. So this is uh, this is what I'm gonna be testing because uh, locals are starting to come back in my state. So this is what what I'm gonna be building and what I'm gonna be testing out. Um, I think the only thing I'm missing is the quick launches, which I can easily get because they're not that hard to find. Um, I'm pretty sure I have everything else here. Um, I was playing um, three copies of uh, Startup instead. Uh, but there's times where I draw into Startup and I just I don't like it. But then while I'm playing this list, there's times where I like really feel like I need Startup because Startup, as bad as it is in hand, it's got a, like a really broken brave, uh, graveyard effect that um you can banish it and then uh target a redoer or time thief monster on field uh time thief exceeds monster on field and attach three time thief cards from your graveyard to that card's material it has to be one spell one trap and uh one monster right so like hey three free materials combine that with a hack and a dugaris and you've got game especially if you have like your opponent's monsters or cards attached to redoer which is stupid um, and then the reason why I really don't like Boat Jin Key is just because it can't, it doesn't help you link climb, and its only other purpose is to like get another XCs on field, um, and like pop cards. Which, granted, this plus Tornado Dragon is uh, is really stupid. Like if I make Boat Jin Key Ahashima, right, and I have Parallel Exceed in hand, so let's say I have like Regulator. Exceed um, one other level four, it doesn't really matter which one uh, in hand, and like whatever. So, a normal regulator. Um, actually, I think I have a combo. I have a combo saved. Uh, wrong button. Let me see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, yes. Yes, right here. So, this isn't a different deck, but I essentially have accomplished the same thing. Uh, this is one of the, the decks that I'm testing with the new Raid Raptor and uh, Phantom Knight stuff. So, uh, don't mind this, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and start it, right? Regulator, Regulator Effect. Uh, into those two, Winder will search out whatever you need. Uh, link into Bujin Kiyahashima. Uh, chain Parallel Exceed to his effects. So now... Uh, cool thing here is you got to keep in mind a parallel exceed cannot miss timing because it is an if effect um, And its effect to make it a level four is mandatory. It's not something that needs to be activated It's just when it special summons itself using its own effect. It's a level four, which is really good uh, So we summon another copy of itself and uh, so This is like actually like different combos here, but this is what I'm talking about. So tornado dragon all right, once per turn, quick effect, attach one material from this card and target one spell and trap on the field and destroy it, all right? Bujinki Ahashima has an effect that says if an Xyz monster this card points to activates its effect by detaching materials except during the damage step, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls and destroy it. So you literally have a free pop two. 
and it's uh it's pretty pretty nice um and then the other thing here that a lot of people seem to forget about is that uh perpetua's attach effect is a uh quick effect so when Redoer comes back in the end phase you can use her effect to attach to him and then again in the draw phase or standby phase or wherever uh so keep that in mind but yep anyways that's pretty much it for the video today guys um gonna go ahead and just end it here one second So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, please remember to comment down below what you think. Like the video if you feel like I deserve it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Uh, also down in the description below uh, should be the link to my Discord. Go ahead and join that there and we can, uh, you can talk to me. We can do some trades if you want to. I've got plenty of stuff to go through. I, uh, you can't see it in this camera angle. But I have a table right there that is just full of cards. I've got a binder and I've got uh, that shelf right there that's just full of stuff. So uh, you guys let me know what you're looking for. I might have it. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, also, uh, let me not forget, uh, I'm started, I started streaming to Twitch, as you can see by the overlay and the new layout. Um, go ahead, check that out if you uh, want to. I normally stream during the week when I get the chance. I try not to stream during the weekends because Weekends are like me time, family time, time that I get to like do some other stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I know this has been a little, little bit of a long one. Um, anyways, peace out.